If you are watching this in Birmingham and want to get to London in a hurry, help is at hand. The government is planning to build a new high-speed line connecting the capital and the West Midlands, but you'll have to wait until 2026 to use it. Later this month, the Secretary of State for Transport is expected to announce the route for Phase 2 of the scheme connecting the East Midlands, Manchester and Leeds. But the high-speed rail scheme, or HS2 as it's known, has its opponents. Nowhere has opposition been as vigorous as in the Chilterns, where the actor Geoffrey Palmer lives. And we asked him to explain why he's so opposed. I've lived in the Chilterns for nearly 50 years. It's a lovely countryside, an area of outstanding natural beauty quiet and peaceful. But it won't be much longer if Mr Cameron thrusts the high-speed railway from London to Birmingham through it. And HS2 would cost £32 billion. Pounds. That's about 60 hospitals. Would be the most expensive railway in the world and the single most expensive infrastructure project ever undertaken by a British government. So, do we need it? Well, the government having lost the business and environmental arguments, last year the Transport Secretary said the reason she was giving the project the go-ahead was that because we were sitting on a capacity time bomb. If we don't act now, by the 2020s, the West Coast Main Line will be full. But now we know her figures were wrong. Just last month, after several appeals under the Freedom of Information Act, the government was forced reluctantly to disclose the true official figures which show that in 2011 during the evening rush hour from 4 till 7 weekdays Monday to Friday long distance trains leaving Euston had on average just over half of their seats occupied. So for me that's it. End of story. We don't need it. So, Mr Cameron, stop this vanity project and leave our countryside alone. <laughs>